Now let's sculpt some high-res details on a mesh and then bake down the normals. So again, I'm going to clear the scene. And in the Files menu, I'm going to make sure Scale and Center is checked. And then I'll bring in this face mesh. And to make sure all the scales for this mesh and the high-res mesh are the same, I'm going to export this. And we'll call this Face Low. And to start, I'm going to turn on wireframe mode here. And then in topology, we'll enable dynamic topology. And with the brush selected, you'll see right now we have a pretty low res mesh here. And as I start using the brush, you can see it dynamically adds more geometry. And as I get closer, because the brush is the same size relative to the screen space, these details get smaller and smaller. Now we'll turn wireframe back off just so we can see what we're doing. And you'll notice there's some blockiness in the eyes and it looks a little chunkier than normal. And that's because it triangulated the whole mesh and so these normals are getting affected. So in topology, we can subdivide it just one time and that will smooth everything out. Now with the brush tool, I'm gonna hold X to make this really small. And I'll just paint on a few little bumpy details. Now with these details painted on, we're just gonna export this again as an OBJ, and we'll name this Face High. And now in X Normal, despite it looking like trash, it actually works really well. In the High Def Meshes tab, we'll drag in Face High, and then in the Low Def Mesh, we'll drag in Face Low. And in Baking Options, I already have the output file path made and the size will be 1K and the default for everything else is good. And we're only gonna bake the normal map here. And then you just click generate maps. Now you can see all these sculpted details are there, but we're getting some hard edges along the mesh. So let's close this and go to our low definition mesh. And if we scroll over for the normals, we don't wanna use the exported normals. We wanna use average normals. So this should smooth out all those creases. So let's try that again. Okay, now all those hard creases are gone, but we still get all the nice detail from the sculpt. So then hopping over to Spark, if we just drag in this normal that we exported, and then drop that right on top of this face mesh I have here, now you can see that sculpt detail goes right in there, even though the resolution of this mesh is still the same as this face mesh or the face low. So that's a really easy way where you can sculpt high res details and then bake it down into a normal map. One thing to keep in mind though, if you're using X normal and you click generate maps and it's stuck analyzing for a long time, that's probably because this face mesh OBJ, at least for me, came in super tiny so I had to scale that up ahead of time. In Cinema 4D, if I open this face mesh, this is the same one that comes with Spark AR. If I just drag it in with my default settings, it's invisible at first because it's so tiny. So if I change the view clipping to tiny, I can see it. But then if I add a figure, the figure is to scale. So this OBJ for me is super tiny. So before you start sculpting, make sure the scales are all set. Otherwise, X normal is not gonna be able to handle it. 